Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Freddy Fish and Luffy's Maze Madness. I'm super pumped for this episode because we're going to my favorite world in the game. We're on World 5, starting with Level 21. Let's see what awesomeness is in store for us. Shippers, it looks like we have a lot of kelp seeds to pick up. Welcome to the sunken ship, everyone. Home of probably some of the grooviest music you will ever hear. Seriously, why is it Freddy Fish sub sunken ship music is always amazing? <sighs> so this is really nice. No real new gimmicks, as we can see yet. We've just got angler fish and then a bunch of gates. Oh man, that was not worth it. Let's get the sea star first. Yes, I can see the exits. Seriously, this music is so good. Who would not love this music? Okay, so here is the main gimmick. You see these bubbles here? When you are swimming for these bubbles, you cannot change direction. So that actually adds quite a bit to the maze like uh, manner of the game. Because there will be times where it'll be like, oh, we can just turn at this junction. No, you can't. There are bubbles over it. So, for example, I couldn't turn there to get the cotton candy. I also couldn't turn to get the kelp seed there. Alright, this is gonna be a risk. These are also a new enemy. These are these sharks, also known as the sponge heads of the game. They're basically... You're, they're kind of aggressive. They start chasing you quite a bit if you get close to them, and they're fast in every direction. So they can be dangerous. Thankfully, they're not super intelligent like the crabs are. Also, is that our first time seeing the present? I don't think so. The present's the best of the randomly spawning points. Aw, oh, man. Ooh, bubble there. Alright. No, the kelp gate closed. Alright, well, if I can get the bubble close to the end of the bubble, that would be- Oh, come on! That would be great. Open up, please open Mr. Kelp Gate. Thanks. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably remember the sharks from Freddy Fish 1 and 2. They were some of the more memorable characters. If they get close to you, they'll start going, Do -do -huh. <laughs> and, like, the other enemies, they are very fun to run into over when you have a bubble. There's also one extra purple sea urchin on this level because you need two in the main room to open the gates, and depending on which gate you open first, they don't want you to get stuck. That's very nice of them. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are everywhere! So this is level 22. You've got that nice skull structure in the middle. So we've got to find that sea star. I just realized this room we need a purple sea urchin in order to progress through. So let's come back there later. Hey, did it huh? Yeah, that little gray platform there, that is a piece of terrain. <laughs> How could anyone not adore this song? No, my bubble! Bubble only lasts for about 60 seconds, so I can't say I'm surprised. Also, these flags oftentimes hold secrets behind them. So I got a, a balloon, uh, which gave me 80 points, and then I also got the purple sea urchin we're going to need for the other room. So if you ever see this flag there, because it's such a large, overlapping front object, kind of like these uh, starfish on the wall, go out of your way, try to try to move behind it. Chances are there's something good there. Oh man. Push the wrong button. I'm used for to Z being my trigger button for other games. 
Wait, what was up? What? I definitely hit him with the bubble. I don't know what you're trying to pull game, but I definitely hit that guy with the bubble. Bubble fears and physics can be weird, I guess. Well, now I only have two lives left, which is terrible. We're not even at the hard part of the game. Tiny pearl chest, be my valentine. Because I don't have any ladies in my life. <laughs> yeah, you can see the shark is following us wherever we go, basically. There's no real safe spot from him. No? Oh, that's not good. And that's the last of my bubble bath, too. Now how am I supposed to have fun taking a bath? Well, that was a dangerous way through. The bubbles make it tough. I just realized there are now four, three different types of bubbles in the game. There's the bubble that overlaps with you, that lets you, like, beat up enemies. There's the bubbles you shoot from Bubble Bath, and then there are these bubbles, which impede your movement. I'm gonna need to rename these stuff. So we'll have... Bubble Shield will be, like, the one that surrounds you. We can have, like, Bubble Shot for the Bubble Bath uh, bubbles. Oh no, I ran out of bubble shots. Stuck on it. And then we'll just have bubbles be the ones that prevent you from moving around or changing direction. Well, great, I have one life left. I've got to make it count. And I don't have any bubble bath. Alright, well, we can't go into that porthole in the side. That's not very nice. Alright. Oh, this is the next type of kelp gate! Oh darn it! Nope, 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 nope. As I was trying to say, this is the next type of kelp gate. No! Seriously, dude? Come on! They stay open for a long time and they open pretty frequently. Which can be good or can be bad. Also, if you, if they close and you get stuck, you can change direction in the bubble. So I hit this, it acts like a wall and it does let me change direction even though there are bubbles there. Now we can use that to get that little sea urchin. Unfortunately, this shark is gonna be a jerk. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm not going out of my way to get that lion's paw shell. It's only worth like five or ten points. If only one life, I am picking my battles carefully now, because I really don't want to have a game over, because that resets my score. Alright, and even though this might be my favorite world, this is probably my least favorite level in the game, level 24. It's a very long corridor filled with bubbles, and not the good kind of power-up bubbles that I want. That steel drum, though. Keep your distance from the sharks, because the, the enemies in the game, particularly the aggressive ones like the sharks, they kind of have, like, an invisible sight line, where if you step within a certain, like, distance from them, they'll know exactly where you are and will follow you. So if we keep our distance to the shark, he hopefully won't notice us. That'll give us some more leeway. Alright. If we go through here... Yeah, be prepared to be in this level for a while. So those kelp seeds up in the upper left corner are kind of our final destination, if you will. Because look at all those gates we have to go through. Hey, crab, try going down. Okay, or maybe not. I just don't want him to scuttle to the right. 
when I was up there. Uh, Alright, yeah, right here. Okay, yes, you want... You want this one to close, and you want to be able to go up from here. Yep, just like that. And now we can get ourselves a worm doodle, which will really help out with evading enemies. Uh-oh, that's not a good place for the crab. The crab is actually in a very, very bad place right there. Oh, this is bad. Alright, don't come here. Do not come here. Son of a gun. Oh, that's bad. They're bow. Oh, that's really bad. No! No way out of that. Uh oh. That was my last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. There was literally nothing I could have possibly done there to survive. Well, now we get to start the level over again. Thankfully, we still have our worm doodle, but now our score is reset. Bother. If only I had safe states. This level of memory serves is a lot of backtracking involved with it. Mainly, it's like, oh, you get a purple seer chin. Oh, then you get a star. Then you have to go here. Oh, then you get like another purple seer chin. Etc. Etc. So here we have to basically go back and forth here until the, up this green gate opens. Oh, come on! Can't you throw me like one bone game? That was open for like half a second. Oh, at least I can pop that balloon. And at least I do have the worm doodle, so that's nice. Ooh, firecracker. Don't try this at home, kids. Because I can't change direction until I reach the end of the bubbles. So I was unable to change my direction earlier. Alright, three purple surgeons. Exactly what we need. No! Thankfully, you get invincibility frames right after you get a sandwich key, so if you use the escape key, you can basically phase through enemies for a few seconds. Which is good. Yeah, so we open that gate, get the star fit. There's a sea star. Oof. Now we have to get the sand dollar to open that gate. Yes, up here, please. Alright. I mean, this is a good idea for a level. Like, I can't fault it, the theory behind it. But it's just not very fun. There's too much backtracking involved. My personal opinion. And we know how much I dislike backtracking. Yeah! <laughs> Doggone it! I'm not having another game over on this level. I refuse. Why did I think this world was my favorite? I think it's purely because of the music. Because let's be honest, who can deny that this is an awesome song? Alright, at least I'll get an extra life at the end of here. If I pick up that sandwich at the end, that gives me another life. Still doesn't bring back my old score, though. Just because it's a junior arcade game doesn't mean it's for juniors or that it's even easily beatable. Alright. We can now make our hopefully triumphant finish. There's no shame in the junior helper. Oh, well, there's a little shame in the junior helper for this game. Nope. Don't trust that crab. Also, if you get s yeah, if the kelp closes behind you, you actually are protected from enemies that get too close because they technically can't reach you because you're inside of a wall. Technically, at that point. <laughs> Stop being smart. <laughs> At 
least I am faster. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, look, he kept changing direction with me. I hate how short the green gates are open for. Alright, don't be a jerk. Congratulations, you earned the you weren't as big of a jerk as you could have been awarded. Oh, uh, yeah. The crabs worry me far more than pretty much any other enemy in the game. Because I have no idea of knowing what's going on in their heads, and they usually pick some really smart moves to do. Particularly if there's more than one crab. Alright, going clockwise to get our extra life. Alright, level 25 almost makes up for that level. It's very good. Except this first Whoa, room. Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are everywhere! Forget Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds. More like Grandma Grouper's kelp gates are everywhere. No, 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 no! Oh, come the freak on! The stupid kelp gates only stay open for like one... Okay, that was open for literally less than one second. I counted. <laughs> Ugh, that's the thing. It's, sometimes you can just the kelp gates can just screw you so hard. Also, I'm gonna leave one kelp seed in this room because if memory serves, there aren't many kelp seeds beyond that one. Also, if we can get all three of those, we can proceed to the bonus room because the last level in the world. So we got a bonus room. Oh, that's the kelp seed I should have saved actually. You can see the crack is right up at the top here. That's where we're gonna go. Okay, well, bubble bath first. Extra life, because I have a low score and getting a thousand points is worth something, apparently. So we can't turn into that doorway, we're gonna have to open that gate. Stop trying to murder me. It's not nice. It's very unbecoming. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna go straight down through here, and we're gonna miss that shot just barely. Hold left here, and you'll pass under this flag, and I believe right there is a whirlpool on the wall, and that will take you over here. Pick up that pearl chest to get some extra points. There's also an extra life over here, thank goodness. There's a giant chest up here which contains even more pearls. And I just hit the trigger for the magic scepter. There's a ton of stuff hidden in this flag, even though it doesn't look like it. So if we're gonna move, we're gonna move up here. All right, nope. We're gonna move to the right here. We're gonna move straight up, and enter the bonus room. Very well hidden one there, that. Oh great, and this one's gonna be even more annoying than the last, maybe. But hopefully I can get an extra life in here. Sure enough, 2500. Get back here, you duck. See, Amaze Madness, it, it can be frustrating at times, for sure. Already, Artie's getting frustrated more than he would have liked to. I was hoping this would just be a happy, fun, happy-go-lucky pond in the woods, but no. I forgot how punishing the game is. I, I swear this game was made, designed for the Junior Helper. The infinite bubbles, Junior Walker, that is. So you still have to time your shots well. But at least then you, you, you still do have to be worried about lives to a certain extent. Oh, nice. <laughs> but it's really not too bad. If you have bubbles. If you don't have bubbles, some of the levels are nearly impossible. Which is why I advise you save your bubble bath. Oh, present. So many bubbles. 
So many one-way balls. Also, I believe there is more in this room down here that I did not get. Never mind. Well, there's... I'll get the ice cream cone. Why not? Over here's just a death trap, though. That's right. When you exit the whirlpool, you go to the right, and then you go up. And you should escape from all harm. Fingers crossed, of course. You stupid shark. You... Actually, it was the sharks on the last level that cost me big time. I'm gonna go... No? Oh, you jerkwad. Ah, wherever I go, he goes. It's like having an incredibly annoying, very dangerous little shadow following you around. No. Okay, thank goodness. Those levels were harder than I remember. I still think the music is amazing, though. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We're heading to a new world. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.